Hey everybody, welcome back. Did a video maybe two weeks ago about add-on linker and I talked about some additional advanced features that add-on linker has and some people have asked me to go into that and there's really mainly one that I would point towards as being pretty useful for us and that is the ability to take your actual official folder on your main drive and move that content to a second drive to save disk space. So for me, for example, this is my C folder, or my C drive rather. And if you look at it, my C drive is pretty full. Use space, 542 gigabytes, 387 free space. You really want at least 500, at least 50% of your C drive free, which I of course don't have. Now when I look here at how big my official folder is, you can see here there's quite a bit of content in there. I just got done downloading City Update whatever from the update here today on May 28th. As you can see, I've got 236 gigabytes of content in my official folder on my C drive, which is really about half of what's on my, my C drive. It's almost exactly half. Now, bear in mind, this is after I have already used add-ons linker to move a whole lot of content from my C drive to my D drive. And if we look at my D drive, we can see here in my official folder on my D drive, I've already got 90 gigabytes moved over. So what you can do is use add-ons linker to move your official stuff, your official folders content over to another drive. And then add-ons linker will link it back, obviously, and you will save all that drive on all that space on your main drive. Now, how do you do this? Let me preface this by saying, try this with one item in your official folder to begin with. And if it works for one, what you want to do is move one folder from your official folder, whatever it is, an airport, an airplane, move that over to your alternate drive as I'm going to show you right now and launch Microsoft Flight Simulator. And if everything goes okay, try moving maybe 10 folders over and then launch micro Microsoft Flight Simulator again and make sure that's okay. Because if this gets messed up, there is the potential that you might have to download all of this stuff all over again, which obviously you don't want to have to do. So if you come into add-ons linker, you go to tools, options, advanced and in your setup unless you've already done this you want to select enable link creation in official folder that's going to be unchecked you want to check that now here is your msfs official one store folder this is C, for me c msfs packages official one store now for you it might be this folder here and this is users whatever your username is and then app data local packages microsoft flight simulator then this gibberish here then local cache then packages and you'll see here's your official folder as you can see in mine mine is empty because i have a custom location for my msfs install which is here see msfs packages official one store okay so what you want to do is click the enable link creation and official folder checkbox then what you need to do is create a custom official add-ons folder now you can see down here in the second window is my msfs official one store folder for me it's c msfs packages official one store for you again it's likely going to be this packages for those of you who are on store it's going to be this users app data local packages microsoft flight simulator etc 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 packages official one store that's the path that you would want to put here in your official one store folder you just click on the three dots find it and then select your official one store folder and then you're going to want to go on whatever other drive you want to use. In my case, it's my D drive. And I created it MSFS Packages Official 
one store so that these two folders match exactly. The only thing being different is the drive. So once you've got that set up, now you can start moving folders from your C drive, your main drive, to your alternate packages location and start saving yourself some space. So this is my D drive. Again, the, the file locations, the paths mirror exactly my C drive. So once you've got this set up, Again, I've got the C drive mirroring my D drive. Your folder here on your D drive, which is your second drive, whatever, it's, you know, F drive, whatever drive you have, this folder is going to be empty. Mine has content in it because I've already moved some of this stuff over. You would then take whatever folder you want to experiment with, you know, to, to try this in, you would cut it and paste it into your new alternate drive you don't want to copy it because then you don't want to copy it and paste it because then you're going to have one copy in the official folder on your c drive and one copy in the official folder on your second drive which is going to confuse everything so again so in our example this microsoft nordic point of interest would be the only thing that i have in my alternate folder and then what you would do is come here into add-ons linker and you're going to have to refresh it. And then you would come here. This is going to be your official one store. And you would, again, there would only be one thing in here for you. Let me go down here. Microsoft Nordic point of interest would be the only thing in here for you. And so you want to select that. And then what it's going to do is create a link to this scenery in your C packages official one store folder, then you're gonna to wanna to restart Microsoft Flight Simulator and make sure everything starts up normally, in which case you have now moved this scenery from your C drive to your D drive and add-on linker has created a link in your C drive and Microsoft Flight Simulator is none the wiser. Now I am going to do something a little wacky because I have decided to move everything from my C drive to my D drive. So I'm going to cut everything and I'm going to paste it all over here. Presumably this is going to take a little bit of time. 200,000 items to move over, 230 gigabytes worth of files. So I will be back with you once this is finished and we will wrap it up all right here we are back with all of my file transfers complete you can see in my c msfs packages official one store folder that is now empty everything having been moved over to my d msfs packages official one store folder and if we come here into add-ons linker now you can see this is my official folder that I created on my D drive with all of my official content now in there. And if you right click on this and come down to other enable dis other disable actions, come over here and come down and select enable all add-ons in the selected folder. And this is now going to enable everything that you've got in this official folder that you've created. For some reason, and I'm not quite sure why, I've got these six folders here, five folders here. And if you right click on anything in add-ons linker, you can open current folder and it's gonna show you where on your computer that is. It's gonna, it's gonna open that folder for you. And for whatever reason, I've got these five folders that are empty. I don't quite know why. I'm gonna leave them as is because in all likelihood, it's either an error or Microsoft Flight Simulator is going to re-download these. It looks like it's just three liveries and one small airport and perhaps another livery for the Beach 18. I'm just going to leave that alone. Now you can see I've got everything 775 out of 775 enabled in my official folder. So what I'm going to do is create a preset where I've got everything in my official folder enabled and nothing else. So, so that way... I can go and enable everything in my official folder quickly and easily. So we'll go now to 
create new preset from current selection. And it's going to ask you to name the preset. I'll name it official all. Click OK. Now what I can do is come here and you go to manage apply presets. I'm going to select completely empty. That's a completely empty, as you may have guessed it, folder that I've created. So I'll apply that real quick. And it's going to clear out my community folder. Now the links for your official folders are actually created in the community folder by add-on linker. A little confusing, but that's the way it works. So we're going to come back here to manage apply presets. And we'll go official all. Apply selected preset. And now everything in my official folder is loaded here. And what we can now do is launch Microsoft Flight Simulator and we'll see if we encounter any issues as we load the sim. Here we are in the sim. And as you can see in the content manager, everything is all normal. Nothing popped up when I was loading the sim saying I needed to update anything. So I have everything loaded and it's all loaded through add-ons linker, as you can see here. One other option you can experiment with, you might not want to move everything over as I have. If you want to, you could conceivably just select all your airplanes, your Sobo aircraft. I don't know how long this list is, probably pretty long. So if you wanted to, just select all your Asobo aircraft and create a folder in D packages, official, one store, create a subfolder called aircraft, move all your aircraft into that. And then you could move, let's say all your airports into an airport folder. You could do that. You could then, you know, leave landing challenges on your C drive if you want to. It just depends on what you need to do or what you want to do in terms of cleaning up your C drive. You might not need a, a whole lot of space. I did because I only have one gigabyte main drive, C drive, and so that kind of ran out pretty quickly. I have to be honest with you, I wasn't sure as I was doing this for this video whether this sort of stuff, the, the base coverage maps and all this kind of stuff, whether the sim would be displeased with me if I moved it all. I've just done it, everything's fine. But again, you have to exercise caution when you do this because as we know in Microsoft Flight Simulator, different people have different results with different things. But like I said, what I would do is try it, first of all, close out of the sim, set your folders up, move one folder from your official folder on your C drive to the official folder on your second drive, then start Microsoft Flight Simulator and see if it gives you any problems. Go into the content manager, see if the thing that you moved is perhaps under not installed. The only thing I have here not installed is, is Princess Juliana because I have the payware version. And if one folder works, maybe try moving over 10 airplanes or 20 airplanes. Close out of the sim, move the 10 or 20 airplanes over, restart the sim, make sure it works. If at that point you've, you've not had any problems, you can pretty much assume that you're going to be okay. And then I would move all the airplanes over, start the sim again, make sure that's okay. Then start moving over airports, whatever. I'm very confident in this, in this process. I think you're going to be okay doing it, but just try it bit by bit and make sure everything's okay as you're going to make sure nothing goes haywire because fixing this and undoing this would be quite a bit of work. That is how I have used add-ons linker to move my official folder content over to another drive to save space on my main drive. If you guys have any questions, if you have any feedback or, co or comments, any, any experiences with doing this, please let me know in the comments section below. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day.